It is a new year, but it's the same shit talking on poker Twitter. So let's get to it. It is So That Happened, your first one of 2019. We're gonna start off with a fun little meme that Sam Grafton tweeted out, but let me give you some backstory first. The most talked about poker tournament in a long time was the Poker Stars Caribbean Adventure $25,000 buy-in event. Now, lots of poker tournaments have $25,000 buy-ins, $100,000 buy-ins, even million dollar buy-ins in the one drop. Why was this one so talked about? Well, Poker Stars gave out over 300 platinum passes. A platinum pass included the $25,000 buy-in for the event, plus $5,000 for travel, accommodations, food, whatever else you needed. So there were over 300 people from all over the world that got this free entry into this $25,000 buy-in tournament. The winner of the tournament got $5.1 million. Who won it? Nope, not a Steve O'Dwyer, not Justin Bonomo. One of the Platinum Pass winners, Roman Colilas from Spain, went from a $0 buy-in because he won it to $5.1 million, which then inspired this tweet from Sam Grafton. In the very clever, who wants to be a millionaire meme fashion, Sam Grafton tweeted out, you've just won 5.1 million in a poker tournament you won a free $30,000 package for. How much do you tip? A, 50,000, which is 0.98%. B, 10,000, which is 0.196%. C, zero, which is 0%. Or D, $100,000, which is 1.96%. Well, he selected C. Roman Colillas, who won $5.1 million for free, tipped zero dollars to the dealers. Now, as someone who has dealt poker, uh, in my past life, I've dealt for over 10 years. Would not take too kindly to that, and I definitely knew which players tipped and didn't tip. And yes, I've been around poker forever. I'm married to a poker player, so I understand it's a living for people, and they can't, you know, maybe they don't have 100% of themselves. Maybe he didn't take home all of the 5.1 million. Maybe he only took home a million dollars. Tip 5K, tip 10K. It's not that big a deal. I was with Sam Grafton on this, but the whole poker community was in an uproar and thought it was terrible that he tip shamed him. Everyone from Remco to Danielle Anderson said Grafton was out of line for calling him out for not tipping. Also remember, he's Spanish, so tipping isn't huge in European culture. Maybe he didn't know. He calls himself a professional poker player who's had $10,000 in live earnings over the past 10 years. I'm not sure you can make a living off of $10,000. Be called a professional poker player, but that's <laughs> judgmental, isn't it? So who knows if it was me, I would have tipped. I don't know a situation, but I imagine he still took home a nice chunk of change and maybe someone, one of his friends should have told him to tip a little. So Sam Grafton, I'm with you, and I can't wait for you to win a tournament so I can see how much you tip. Unless you've been in a deep, deep cave in Siberia the last week, you know that Daniel Negreanu was the subject of a bunch of hate on Twitter. Where did this all start? Well, it all comes from Daniel Negreanu's first tweet. Worst kind of poker player has the following traits. Winner, slow, quiet, also miserable, nit, cheap, selfish, hater, complainer, negative. If you match all of these categories, then you are probably a real treat to have at parties. Two of five is still bad. The next day he added, this type of player is a cancer to poker. The nits are like a disease. Some just don't know any better. They aren't bad people, but they do way more damage than good by playing poker. As you can obviously tell, the screenshots aren't tweets. They are quoted from a Poker News article by Chad Holloway because Daniel since deleted the tweets because it caused such an uproar. People from Sam Greenwood to Dara O'Kearney were really pissed that Daniel said, you have to be chatty at the table. You have to have a personality. You can't be winning. I mean, isn't that the point of all poker players to be a winning player? So. The entire poker community came after Daniel for those tweets. So he then wrote a blog explaining everything a little more detailed, which makes a lot more sense. 
But uh, in reaction, Darrow O'Kearney wrote his own little vlog. New vlog. Taking a break from hashtag Aussie Millions to give my take on the latest comments from at Real Kid Poker on who is and isn't quote good for poker. Link to the blog, retweets, comments, shares, appreciated always. And then a photo of Daniel in blackface. Um, that's obviously an old photo. I think he actually did a video, if my memory serves me right, years and years ago of him being Jamaican. It's just blackface. So then this whole argument about who's good for poker just takes a whole other turn calling Daniel out for doing blackface. And this day and age, even if it's an old photo, no excuse. No good excuse. I'm white. Nope. Never doing blackface. There's little, won't ever say the n-word. There's things you just can't do and it's inexcusable, terrible behavior. This is how Daniel defends his behavior. Cliffs. Grew up in Toronto. Most friends were black. First time it happened, I was at a party, 70 people, as the only white guy. The girls thought it would be funny to put black makeup on my face. Everyone laughed, danced, and had fun. So many questions. Why is the first defense is that you grew up in Toronto and had a lot of black friends? I feel like Canada would be like, you're whiter. <laughs> like It's fine to do blackface in Toronto. Also, the first time I did it, oh, so you do lots of casual blackface for your black friends at parties. Also, I have black friends. Don't think they'd really like me uh, doing blackface either. So, not just, I don't even really have problems with his defense, which I do. It's more that he tried to defend blackface in general in 2019. That was really icky. I didn't even take issue with him saying people should be fun at the poker table and loose and fun and friendly in like a friendly home game. Fine. I just, that's really where I found the argument to fall apart for me, Daniel, who I like and is really great, but that's, that was a little icky. So let me know what you guys think. And if you see more blackface on poker Twitter, feel free to tag me at Sasha Salinger.